Hi everyone, I'm Danny Weisberg. I'm an analytics advocate at Google, and I'm here with Ferris Al Halou. Uh, Ferris is the co founder and principal consultant at Enor, a great uh, Google Analytics certified partner and reseller. And he's also the co author of uh, Google Analytics Breakthrough. And congratulations on launching the book. Thank you, Daniel. I'm glad to be here. Great, thanks for coming. So, Ferris, what, what's Enor? Let's start with that, and what do you do there? Yeah, Inor is a global digital analytics and marketing intelligence uh, firm. We help some of the largest brands out there make sense of the data. So we provide help with consulting, implementation, solution design, um, report automation, data engineering, really to help marketers and now BI folks as well make sense of the data, collect it and make sense out of it. Out of it you know? Great. So. How do you make sense of the day? What's the process that you use to go from data to business impact? Uh, right. Of course. So, so analytics is a business process. You know, a lot of times uh, we run into situations where, uh, where marketers might think it's just a one-off project. Let me get an implementation of good analytics or let me maybe just put a nice chart in, in Data Studio. We believe analytics is a business process. So we start with a, um, take a look at what we have today, sort of an audit both from the business side as well as from the technical side. So we, we want to engage the stakeholders to understand about you know, measuring what matters most to the business. If you're a demand generation manager, you're interested in maybe campaign type metrics. If you're a content, um, a content producer, you want to understand how content is performing. So understanding what matters most, how you want to slice and dice the data in terms of segmentation. And also, once we have all that good data in place, we go to the reporting layer. So how do we report on this data? How do we pull it into Data Studio? Luckily, uh, with the Google Analytics products, we have direct connectors into Data Studio. Uh, and once we have the data, once we have the reporting, the trending, the look and feel that, that uh, makes sense uh, for us, then we start to be able to analyze uh, the data and make, uh, take some actionable, uh, find some actionable insights. And then we move to other, another layer, which is uh, the personalization, the testing, and that's when you really um, can have an impact on the business. Mm -hmm. So during this process, when you actually, when, when you start working with the data, what do you actually do? I mean, what, what's the process of using it? Sure. That? So there's a whole lot of data these days, right? It used to, life used to be simple for marketers. <laughs> one device, one channel, a few channels. So, so there's, there's data everywhere, you know, mobile, social, uh, web, of course, back-end data. Uh, I think one of the first, very, you know, very first things we do is, is I think understanding, you know, understanding, having context around that data. So, so there's the integrity of the data, ensuring the data is, is uh, sometimes not, uh, I'd say, clean, it's, um, it was uh, collected properly, it was uh, maybe, um, is, it, is it raw, is it um, something that has been aggregated? So understanding a bit about the data collection, how the data was put together, and then understanding, I think, what, what people miss is um, you know, having sort of metadata about the data, understanding if you're looking at, at Google Analytics uh, metrics, knowing more about the user. Let's say you are a subscription-based subscription uh, model. Uh, is it a premium user? Is it a standard user? So having that additional data, I think, uh, give, gives a whole lot of context to the person who's consuming that data. So I think understanding how the data, the quality of the data, and then making sure we have context around what's, what's collected is really key. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I see a lot is that marketers or anyone really looking at data, they're very focused on their internal data, right? right. And they forget to see what's going on around them right, right. in the world. So sometimes, you know, your business might be growing, but the market is growing twice as fast. So yeah. it's not that good. So how can we make sure that, you know, we are looking at the context when you know, we are analyzing our own data? That's a very good question, Daniel. I think a lot of us sometimes are very sort of single focused. So we, especially in maybe in the analytics space, we get access to Google Analytics data and there's a lot, lot in there, especially if you've done a good job in terms of customization, you're customizing your implementation. So, so there's just a lot of web analytics or mobile analytics data, but that's just a small piece of the puzzle. And I'm really, I was really delighted to see that we have native integrations of things like YouTube, like the double click uh, data, uh, things like, uh, you know, you can also obviously have data from BigQuery into Data Studio. So, so looking at not just sort of your own 
um, you know, if, if maybe an analogy uh, to PR, you know, you have owned media, uh, paid media, earned media. And I think in analytics, we have those sort of same concepts. You have your own um, uh, data, your, your own web and mobile data sets. And then there, there's social data out there. So if you're, can I say Facebook here? <laughs> you know, so Facebook data, Twitter data, uh, Instagram data. Uh, how do we you know, get a sense of what's, what the sentiment is? Um, how do we understand you know, what people are, you know, are, are conversing about, about our brand, about our product? Uh, so that, you, know, may, you might not be able to stitch those two, des, two data sets together, uh, but at least having, have some sort of correlations I think is important. And obviously if you're doing a lot of paid you know, paid uh, media, double click and AdWords and other things, uh, you want to, you you know, take a look at that. So I think, you know, and there, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of available resources, just a trend, you know, Google Trends or whatever their latest name is today. Yeah, Google Trends. Google Trends, Trends right? So that is, that is very useful. Uh, if you were following the U.S. elections, you know, you can look at things and, and see, you know, how, how things went. And, and if, you're, if you're looking at uh, social, as I said earlier, it's really important. So, I, I would definitely advise to have a, a roadmap. Maybe start with what you own, web and mobile analytics data, and then start aug augmenting your reports with maybe social analytics data, with just basically maybe quantitative, just you know, maybe how many tweets and followers and retweets and reshares, and then maybe get a little bit into the qualitative aspect. And last but not least, a great product that was, uh, that was recently introduced by Google is the, the survey uh, product. So that's, I think that also gives a new dimension in terms of sort of for market research purposes. You know, there are surveys that we do on our own, again, on properties, on apps and sites uh, to understand the voice of the customer, but also doing uh, some market research. It used to be expensive and cumbersome and uh, takes a lot of resources. Now you can easily uh, run a, a Google survey. And if you do the premium edition, the 360 edition, you can do a whole lot more targeting. But even the free edition, um, gives you a lot of capabilities to get that market research. You know what's what's out there, um, what what the interests are of, of the your potential audience. Yeah, that's a uh, great advice. So, how do you think? You know, going a little bit into Date Studio, how do you think Date Studio and better data visualization can help companies make better, more data-driven decisions? Another good question. I think having that data available when you need it, in the format you need it, in sort of the trended way you like it, um, to the right stakeholder. I think that's really key. A lot of times, and even, you know, we've been in this industry since it started from 2003, 2004, and, you know, we fell in love with data at that time, and it was, I think things were a bit simpler, but, but now, you know, how do I make sure this content producer understand the impact of their content video or text uh, on, on conversion or on subscription? Uh, so if I have a, a data set, you have a set of reports that are available to them in Data Studio, or let's say in GA, and you can go and get it to your inbox through a PDF, I think they can, they, you know, turning that into something useful and actionable in the right time and the right format is really key. Mm -hmm. um, if we send these, uh, you know, these automatic emails with a bunch of dashboards and sort of top-level metrics, I don't think those are actionable. I don't think people can be engaged and, and sort of m make use of the data, but customizing the reports, the look in the field and the data, data that's presented and having that available in the right time to the right stakeholder is really key. Excellent. Ferris, thank you very much for you know, doing such a great job with you know, so many companies and for advocating analytics for so long. And Absolutely. No, and, and all of this work, including the book, is really uh, the team at Inor is an amazing team. I, I have to say that uh, I come out and, and speak about this stuff, but the team behind, you know, behind, you know, Maybe behind the scene is, is just an amazing, uh, amazing amount of people, amazing people, that, the best people I've ever worked with. So I'm, I'm really attribute a lot of that to the team. So thank you. Great. Thank you. Sure.